the Beverly Hills Housewives Kyle Richards responded this morning. Reality star Aubrey O'Day, who of course stars in Oxygen, is all about Aubrey. So what do you think, Aubrey? Did they handle it the right way? You know, the Housewives series is a form of escapism. You know, we're trying to escape from our lives and watch these catty women go back and forth. And something that's difficult to adjust to suicide is, like you said, it's never going to win. I mean, it's awkward, it's uncomfortable. I think as a reality star, the only person that should discuss it are the people that were directly affected by it. I don't think that I needed to see the girls go around about their feelings. I think if she wanted to discuss her husband's suicide, I would have appreciated her being honest and real about it, as this is reality television and if she didn't want to then possibly some kind of liner it, it's a proper situation at yeah. best but I would rather have heard it from her yeah and I guess this was the best they could do and she said she was fine with how they handled it so in a way I kind of guess we all need to be as well the suicide of Russell Armstrong will inevitably hang out over the entire season there's no ignoring it there are reports out there today that say the show will even include therapy sessions between Taylor and her husband we asked this in our show it's not exclusive a poll housewives edited to address the suicide will you watch only 17 percent of you said yes it is reality 83 percent of you said no you will in fact boycott the show all right we gotta move on right now because there is breaking new reality show drama to talk about that's playing out in real life the battle over the kim kardashian sex tape now we know that there's a mystery buyer out there trying to negotiate a deal for are you ready for this as much as 30 million bucks to buy the rights to that sex tape that made her famous to begin with and, and for the purpose of banishing the video forever. That's why they want to buy it. Well, now there are brand new reports today that Tim's sex tape co-star Ray J actually wants a cut of the profits. Add to that a third party, another porn website, reportedly wants to buy the sex tape so they can offer it for free online. Gosh, it kind of sounds to me like this push to get rid of Tim's sex tape is backfiring. Kelly, what do you think? I think it's awesome that Ray J's trying to collect. Although he did co-star, so he should get some residual, residuals for that, right? Um, I don't know why another site would buy it, offer, what, $5 million, and then run it for free, and they would take that over $30 million. So I don't think that's going to happen, especially since it's a competing website. But I hope Kim gets the tape, and we have to, we can stop hearing about this thing once and for all. And, and meanwhile, we're talking about people wanting to buy it, it possibly being banished, and you know traffic on the site that offers this tape now it is getting inundated with traffic. Kelly Zink, Aubrey O'Day, I thank you both. Okay, we move on now to a blockbuster development in the Chaz Bono Dancing with the Stars controversy. Ready for this? Since the show started 41 years ago, and now she's lashing out as president of ABC Daytime in a brand new autobiography. With me from Chicago, Kelly Zink. Host for CelebTV.com from Hollywood Tonight, Aubrey O'Day. Aubrey is the star of Oxygen's All About Aubrey. So according to the New York Post, Susan Lucci has added an epilogue to her paperback version of her autobiography called All My Life, a Memoir. In it, Lucci is slammed her soon-to-be ex-boss Brian Ferns for what she calls some very bad decisions that led to the show being canceled. One excerpt reads, an iconic show was losing out to greed. If Brian Franz could show his bosses that he could take the network 40%, he could keep his job even if the rest of us lost ours. I watched Brian Franz's decisions destroy the production of our show and the lives of people on both sides of the country. Lucci claiming that the boss saved his own butt by making bad decisions about the show so it would eventually falter. Kelly, obviously, it's terrible for all of the people who lost their jobs if this thing has been canceled, but are you with Susan, or do you think the show simply may have run its course? Well, I would say both. I'm with her on the fact that she's going to sell some books by saying this, and she's no idiot. That's exactly why she added it to the book. But I'm also with the network that if something's run its course, then maybe it's time to kind of die out. And Susan Lucci is a classy woman. I think that she's doing this not to damage her reputation, just to make a little bit of extra dough. Well, that may be the case, and I do think she's really speaking out on behalf of all of those people less fortunate than her who can't necessarily survive as well without this daily job. ABC did respond to Susan Slim. Here's what they tell show this tonight. We have all the respect in the world for Susan and are star sorry that she felt the need to write this epilogue to an otherwise incredible career. Uh, Aubrey, it sounds like they're basically saying that they thought she should have taken the high road here and not even bring it up. Do you think it was a bad idea for Susan to include this reported slam in her new book? Are there any high roads in the entertainment industry, really? <laughs> I, I admire her gumption. I think that, you know, there are definitely a few bosses that I'd love to tell the truth on. So, good for her. All right, Kelly, you think this could actually backfire on, on Susan, a beloved soap star? 
There's no way. Susan's fans love her no matter what she does. They've been following the show for years. It's not like she slammed some council that she didn't get all the awards she deserved. She said something. Her fans are going to stand behind her and say, wait, wait to speak out. We love yeah, you. Yeah, I have a feeling you're exactly right. All right, Kelly, thank you. Have a good day. Thank you both. As we move